still French kiss. Ooh. <laughs> well, I think that French kiss is the most passionate way um, to express your feelings. So, of course, definitely yes. My answer is yes. <laughs> no other way. <laughs> That's good. That's positive. Positive. Okay, my question to you. Me? Yes, I actually <laughs> Okay. So I'm always curious if people still do it because I think it is important, you know, like I know when you're teenage and you know that you you kind of it's it's a lot of hormones and you do a lot of French kissing, but I think it's important to do for the rest of your life. I don't, think I, don't, you I don't know why people stopped. I, I can't even understand why. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, I agree, I agree. And then can you tell me in three words uh, about your first love or your big love? Oh, probably in three words. Um, unforgettable love story. No, oh, that's lovely. <laughs> that's lovely. <laughs> and is there a special song that will bring you back to just that moment? Ah, oh, that's a good question. Um... Yes, so the call it calls just the two of us. That's lovely. You know the song? Just the two of us. I love this song. I don't know why I, I was thinking about this song exactly right now. <laughs> <laughs> can you sing? Can you sing a little bit? Because no, I can't because I, I don't remember the lyrics. I know just just the two of us. <laughs> yeah, me too. I remember that. Just yeah. <laughs> it's lovely. And then what do you think about dance, the intimacy of dance in a relationship? Do you think it's important? Intimacy about what? A dance. Ah, dance. Okay, okay. Well, I think that it is important because dancing with a partner, I think it's creating some like, you know, intimate connection through the very mysterious way. It's something very mysterious. And I think it is it is important, yeah, yeah. And you know, sometimes they say, dance like no one is watching. Because you know, when you just do this, it's kind of, you vibe in, you feel alive. It's, I mean, I think it's so important. You do it with a partner, you do it by yourself, but just don't stop dancing. <laughs> I agree. And I even dance by myself. I put the music on and just, you know, get, even with my animals, I will dance. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> I want to see that. <laughs> and then um, also, also with the, with, with music then and dance. Yeah. I know you are a singer, you know, you, you make your own music. Is there, is there one that is your favorite to put on? You know, if you feel in a mood for, for a bit of boogieing, is, is there one of yours that you think is, you know, do you have a favorite of, of one of your songs? Okay, I want to tell you the secret. All of my songs are my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that uh, my recent song that I just released, it's called The Way I Move. So it's definitely probably <laughs> the right answer the way i move yes and um actually i don't know did you see the music video oh yes with a hunky man mm -hmm. so <laughs> i see all j-lo dancers and it, it's all yes her dancers and you know i mean it was so amazing to feel this vibe around them and uh, um yes i mean i think this is the song <laughs> for sure <laughs> That's lovely. That's amazing you had them. They look very hunky, very, very hunky. <laughs> so that's fantastic. And then um, I was wondering also, you know, uh, your next kind of project now in, in the music, uh, we would love to hear. And also what we would love to hear is how you went, you know, you started in the music industry. How, how come you went there? Well, it's all started when pandemic starts, actually, like three years ago. And, uh, you know, it was crazy lockdown. So nothing to do. Everyone depressed. Everyone sitting at home. Uh, crazy period. And um, I was doing Miss Russia for many, many years. 
Uh, and obviously the show stopped because we couldn't do any public events. And um, because I'm a songwriter and I write a lot and I decided to write a song um, and this song become very popular in Russia. I released it. We did an incredible music video, which uh, won multiple of um, film festivals. And that's how it started. And that's how, um, you know, motivated me to do more because I realized that people love it. And uh, I, I decided to do it in a professional way. That's fantastic. So, but you always been singing? You always loved singing before you oh, kind yeah. of... Since yeah. I was a kid, I always, yeah, I always was on stage and uh, I was singing, but I can tell you that it was like very professional. But since I decided to to be a singer, I, I'm, I'm taking a lot of vocal classes with the best in these industries. And I'm working nonstop every day just to improve my skills in singing. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, I love your songs. I love them. And I love you. Oh. You're fantastic. <laughs> and then when we talk about music, and stuff, I also know that you attended the Grammys uh, this year. And uh, is there someone that you found was more special than others when you were, uh, were there and experienced the whole thing? Or everyone was just fabulous? You know, uh, I'm a very positive person and I don't judge. Even if something that I didn't like at the uh, Grammys, and it was a few parts, I don't like to spread a negative energy. I would say that everything was amazing and I had an incredible time. And, uh, you know, that kind of events uh, inspire you to create music and you have some goals when you see people on stage shining and you, you're like, okay, I'm going to be there next. <laughs> so I'm like, you know, planning in my head how I'm going to reach a certain level. And uh, that's what matters. Uh, the other thing that it's not. No, I agree. I agree. And it is, it's wonderful, like you say, to have a positive energy and be supportive of everyone in the industry. And, you know, we know how hard it is and you know all the work we have to put behind it so it is important to support each other and I think you know we are all different and we all have something to contribute so uh, no I love that's, that that's I think so true. we're all different and I don't like when people start judging someone and uh, I'm, I, I'm I never judge anyone and uh, if someone judge me I don't care to be honest and uh, um, you follow me for a while, you know that I have a lot of people who love me, but I also have some people who trying to spread some negativity on my page and uh, oh, but I that's think jealousy. that's jealousy. That's maybe jealousy. Also, I think, you know what? I think that that kind of, those kind of people, very unhappy. Mm -hmm. and some, like like for real and happy maybe something going on in their lives and they can't live their own life they live someone else's life and mm -hmm. it's actually so bad that they can fully enjoy their life and they stuck on someone and texting some negative uh, things so i truly um feel bad for for them <laughs> yeah i agree i agree it's sad it's sad for them actually that they have all this frustration inside of them. They should actually go, as you say, live their own lives. Yeah, you know, but they have their own life. That's why they live someone else's life. Mm, it's very true. And I think that's a good message to give out to everyone out there. It's like, take, you know, control over your life and do something out of your own life. Don't, you know, uh, take inspiration of people in a positive way and make, something out of your life for that you know that inspiration not turn it negative that's so um it's so true you know to be honest i can't even remember and i can't even imagine me writing some negative things to someone else i just can't i'm gonna tell you honestly sometimes when i see something i have a feeling so i'm a human i don't like something but i never gonna put it under the comment and say my opinion you know, like, I don't like, I'm going to keep it to myself and that's it. But like to say something and to make this person feel bad, 
No. But also, you know, some people say that we need to say some negative things to make you better. It's also a very good point because it depends who say that things. If it's like an experienced professional person giving a comments to your music video or to your like, I don't know, songs, wherever, they give an opinion to make you better. That's different. Yeah, like the constructive criticism. That's different. Exactly. Yeah, that's different. That's different. Like all the different things. And mm. some people mm. can't accept it because they think it's like someone judging or giving. I accept it. And I really want someone to tell me, you need to do this, you need to do that. And that's how I'm going to be level up. I agree. That's what, because it's, the, you know, as, as in a kind of expression, you know, smoke you know just flatter people and go oh amazing, amazing no you need the as you say you need people to help and guide you and say if there's something that you can do better for sure for sure oh my God. Yeah, that's a different that's a different yeah yeah that's something completely different so no i agree with you though it is uh it's good to keep positive and it's good to be supportive of of each other and and actually, when people are successful and, and doing something, you know, instead of putting it negative to go, wow, she can do that. I can do that. You know, the same like I think women need support women not to be yes. jealous, but they need to support. I think we together can do a lot of things like supporting each other, but not uh, bring in some jealousy and uh, bad vibes. I think it's just impossible. And it's it's not my nature. I don't like that. And sometimes, you know, when people, even in my close circle, bring in some negativity and some bad vibes, I'm trying not to deal with them anymore. This is me. I know yeah. for some people it's it's like, but you like all your friends, you know, this person for so many years. I don't care. I don't care. I can cut people off from my life very easy. I don't know if it's bad or good thing, but I'm very care about my inner peace about my inner life, about my mental health, about everything, because it's it's me. I live with myself for my whole life and I need to take care of it. <laughs> yeah, you have to protect yourself. And I think it's better to, even though they could be old friends, but if they have a negativity, I think it's better to cut them out for sure, because it's not a positive influence and energy. And I think, you know, life is short. We shouldn't waste it on bad energy. We should have lovely, positive energy around us. And exactly what you said, which I agree so much upon, because I work myself a lot for women, and I find it very sad that there's so much jealousy. I think we should be more male in the sense that men are very loyal to each other. They will always stand up to each other. And I think we have a lot to learn from men in that sense. I, I agree with you 100% for sure, yeah. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then I mean you you are very successful which is wonderful so you you know you have to tell me you know you have a restaurant how do you get time for everything because it's amazing all the things you do yeah to own a restaurant was my dream yeah and uh, all dreams uh, coming true if you believe in this and you work hard oh definitely so yes only work hard and uh, and also you know like to imagine everything that we can imagine is real yeah. this is yeah. just for sure so definitely uh i always wanted but i didn't want something regular so my restaurant it's a vibe house it's even called batega taboo a vibe house <laughs> so once you get an in you don't want to go like back <laughs> it's just impossible starting from delicious food amazing uh, servers um music everything it's making you feel so good like um, you have to experience it once you're in la i'm invited you for dinner yes. i'm there i'm there <laughs> definitely definitely i can't wait i can't wait no it sounds amazing so that's fantastic and then my question is how does the word music make you feel i feel alive mm -hmm. I feel amazing. Even I'm having a goosebumps right now. <laughs> so that's how it makes me feel. <laughs> that I love. That I love. Yeah. No, it is. It's a part of life, isn't it? 
it is it is it's it's just you know and actually the relationship between music and love is such a powerful part for the like of the human experience you know it's so so close mm. you know when you experience some some like mm, heartbreak or whatever i don't know when you put your favorite music what's your uh what's what's the first thing you're gonna do cry <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> cry that's for sure that's how it's so connected your emotion to the music it's it's wonderful it's amazing yeah no and I also music is the best therapy when i'm having a bad uh, um, day i'm turning on my like very very in, like uh, dancing songs and i and i like you know and i start dancing and i forget <laughs> about all these things that happening <laughs> like completely changing the mood yeah it's and that's so magical. important music is magical it is it is oh i'm so glad that you took the time to speak with me <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Finally, we managed. And I can't wait to meet you in real person, you know? That would be so lovely. Me too, me too. Yeah. And I, I know it's going to be soon. Yes, I hope so too. And you look gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. And I'm super proud of everything you do. I think it's fantastic. You're amazing. And you too. <laughs> Such an inspiration. Thank you. And have a lovely day. You're so lucky, yeah? Huh? You have the whole day. Yes. <laughs> have a great night. You too.